ladies and gentlemen, they've done it again. Now, I bet you're wondering, you know, what are they up to this time, right? What are they What are they cooking up in the old cubicles back at Activision? Nothing, actually. They're just the same greedy corporate robots we all know and love. And they have done some pretty shitty things to the Call of Duty community that, you know what, I think I should speak out about. You know, I've, I've referenced their controversies in the past, and I've definitely not been, you know, uh, how do we say this, outspoken about it, you know, it's been some pretty horrible shit, it's pretty disgusting shit that has, has happened in this, in this space, it should not be okay, but it's, here we are, but now they've done something that honestly came out of left field. You know, I'm pretty sure uh, you know what's happening if, you know, if you're in tune with the Call of Duty community, even just a little bit. But if you're not, I will inform those who maybe have no idea what's happening on this situation. Ladies and gentlemen, it all started with this. Now, if you don't know what SM2 was, SM2 was basically the only thing Call of Duty players unanimously want. It's basically a modded client for Modern Warfare 2, the original, not the shit one, and it basically lets you play it without getting, you know, a virus, let's say. That's right, you can get actual viruses and shit downloaded on your computer, some random ass shit, just from playing online Call of Duty. You can't play these games anymore without running that risk. So they said today, a team member received a cease and desist letter on behalf of Activision Publishing and related to the SM2 project. We are complying with this order and shutting down all operations permanently. Thank you for all your support over the past two years. They've been working so long. I remember when this first started. I've been keeping up with it. And they started this so long ago. See, look at this. They have the AS-44, a COD World War II gun, with their own inspects on a Modern Warfare 2 map. Look at this. This is what we've been wanting. It's essentially a Call of Duty Online that is accessible and, like... I mean, there's infinite warfare guns in this. Like, it's wild. It's great. It just nabs all the best parts of Call of Duty that we really... So, obviously, this sucks. You know, this was like a non-profit thing. There was no, you know, incentive for money. Just really wanting the community to play a safe version of these older games, right? Yeah, see, no one's happy, bro. No, no one's happy. No one's fucking happy. <laughs> Really, everyone's talking about it, so it's like, that's initially why I didn't want to even make this video, because like, okay, <laughs> no. yeah, I don't think I was going to make a video initially just because everyone had been covering the topic, but you know, then, uh, then something else happened. They're probably wondering, you know, how could this get any worse? And if you thought that Activision got their slimy limp dick chode off of the entire Call of Duty community, you're wrong. With the force of a thousand suns, they slapped their micro penis right back down onto the community and hit X Labs. Today, we have received a cease and desist letter on behalf of Activision Publishing in relation to the X Labs project. We are complying with this order and shutting down all operations permanently. Thank you for your support over the years. This is just sad. For those of you guys who don't know, X Labs was Modern Warfare 2. Probably regarded as the second best or the best in many people's eyes or third best Call of Duty ever made. They have now just taken the only way to play that game away safely. It's fine. And guys, because this has happened now to X Labs and SM2 all in the span of a week. Sad to say that Plutonium might be next. Now, Plutonium is Black Ops 1, World at War, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1 Zombies, Black Ops 2 Zombies, World at War Zombies. That is Plutonium, and that will all go as well. Now, guys, this all really began, the origin of it. This all originated with the man, the myth, the legend, Maurice Human. For those of you guys who don't know who he is, he was making a Black Ops 3 client that essentially made Black Ops 3 safe to play. 
So, obviously, you would want to play this game, arguably the best zombies experience we've ever had, safely. I want to be able to play Obama Zombies underscore V1 without having my IP sent out to the whole fucking universe. Or, in most people's cases, getting rats installed on their computer, which just completely take over your whole fucking system. It's bad. It's really bad. And Activision just shoved their fucking corporate middle fingers up everyone's assholes. Obviously, the devs have nothing to do with this. Like, this isn't a developer thing. No developer wants to see these games, even though a lot of the developers that have worked on these older games just have left this fucking company. No developers of these fucking publishers want to see these games end up the way they do. Activision's horrible. I really hope when this Microsoft acquisition comes through, something changes, because this is just horrible. I mean, everyone knows Bobby Kotick's little schemes that he's up to. That shit with the Overwatch 2 as well. I mean, I, you know, at this point, why are we even calling it Overwatch 2 still? I, what? I don't know. I mean, it's not just Call of Duty that's getting completely sucked into this, this, this dark matter. Fucking Bobby Kotick and his merry band crew of morons. Get this malignant goblin out of the chair now! Why did I make this video? I don't know. I was just pissed. You know how I said I would be making Modern Warfare 2 videos? Well, you know, it's not really happening, is it, if you've noticed? Now, partly is because I've been just very busy with, you know, other things in life, but a lot of it is also because I haven't been playing Modern Warfare 2. <sighs> and and it's, it's so interesting because I gave the game so much praise initially, and you know what, I still think that a lot of it is just a step up from the previous one, but the previous one was so bad. It's so bad. It sucked. No, really. No, no, just think about it. It was horrible. So, I, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Cold War was great. I, I stand by it. I loved Cold War. Cold War was, was the last, last good one. And, and, you know, that was pretty recent, but, like, it's still 2020. I mean, that was three years ago. It's not, it, it's becoming less recent. So, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, I'm not actually playing any game right now. This is probably one of the only times I'm just going to slap up gameplay. Because I want to show gameplay of X-Labs and the awesome shit it has done for the community. It really gave people the opportunity who have never experienced the memories of early Call of Duty get to have these and safely. I can't believe the simple task of letting us play your older titles without getting a Trojan embedded into our hardware is this, like above them task that they can't do being a multi-billion dollar company it's like no we're not gonna go back and fix these games to let you actually play on them but when the community steps up uh, above the company and makes these modes and these clients for us to play you know when you guys try to correct our mistakes you know our games these are our games that you guys are fixing for us the company the people who are buying our product are fixing the product but don't 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 do that you can't you can't do that that's not allowed don't fix our products the company should be hiring these people yeah legally they can do this i mean you know and and there there's nothing really they can do you know activision being the fucking gargantua cock i won't lie I am excited for Call of Duty 2024. You know why? Because it's Treyarch. They gave me something good. They gave me something pretty good. The bundles, the microtransactions, it's stupid. It's still really dumb. The fact that you guys are trying to sell me skins like this for almost half of the game's price. It's unbelievable really is like it's actually impressive how terrible some of these things are that you guys are charging for you can't be questioning these things because at the end of the day these games function at their higher ups the developers are the puppets and activision has the strings it fucking sucks man it sucks because i love call of duty and i i want to see these games do well but wow wow yeah this is something i need to speak out about because fucking now i have nothing to play bro now i'm forced to play these newer fucking hot steam pile of dog shit games zombies players what like what are we gonna play what are we gonna play black ops 2 zombies origins and mob okay but i can't play that either can't play black ops 1 either uh okay or world at war so that's that's gone too yeah, yeah. black ops 3 is gone it's best zombies experience uh you know okay so we're left with what we're left with what think about that can't play infinite warfare or advanced warfare zombies you know if, i mean I don't know why you want to play that anyway, but what what does that leave us zombies fans with? It leaves us with Cold War, which 
okay, okay, you know, that's, that's not bad. Cold War was really good. But it, Cold War was definitely lacking in some areas in terms of story, in terms of atmosphere with their maps. A Black Ops 3 Zombies experience, in my opinion, is a bit different than a Cold War Zombies experience. The whole mechanics are totally different. What else? Um, Call of Duty Vanguard. <laughs> oh boy! Yes! You know, I, 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 I mean, hold on. Cold War was, okay, good, right? Vanguard? Zombies. Guys, who isn't, you know, waking up at the crack of dawn and going, I need me to play some Duran Fong. I need to. You know, I'm itching. It's, it's like a craving. But ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, if you did not think <laughs> that Cold War Zombies and Vanguard Zombies was enough to quench your Call of Duty Zombies thirst, well, ladies and gentlemen, I have some good news for you. In 2023, that's right, next year, this year, we're getting a whole new zombies experience. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Modern Warfare 3 zombies. I know. I know. I know. Settle down. Settle down, everyone. I know. I know. I know. What? Modern Warfare 3 zombies. Okay, well, one, that's going to be garbage. They've already confirmed that it's going to be an outbreak-only experience. I don't even know why they're bothering. It's pretty much confirmed that Treyarch is going to be making zombies for 2024. Great, good, great. That, I'm very excited for that, actually. But why would they even bother this year? Just let us breathe. Let us, like, take the punches, you know, really feel them out. And just let us breathe, okay? Don't just keep fucking beating yeah we all thought they were gonna skip a year they didn't they didn't do that uh, modern warfare 3 coming out who cares about modern warfare 3 by the way any hands i'll take any any takers out there just one one comment and you know what if you do by all means that's your opinion it's stupid but it's your opinion i just just let me know let me know why you're excited like i actually want give me reasons why you're excited for modern warfare 3 what could they do differently I don't even know how the release is going to be, if it's going to be advertised as like an expansion pack or whatever. So yeah, Cold War, Vanguard, and Modern Warfare 3 Zombies are all you can safely play on PC. And I mean, good luck finding those lobbies on console players too. Like, you guys aren't saved either. This fucking sucks, dude. Bro, until X Defiant comes out, I'm just going to play like Roblox or some shit. Alright guys, uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Uh, I really was just ranting this video. Swag hat is releasing June 1st. I know. Just, I don't mean to drop the bombshell on you this early, but, uh, yeah. Swag Hat is coming out June 1st, so mark your calendars. It's gonna be here on YouTube.com slash Enderlight. Guys, get ready. It's gonna be, it's gonna be huge. It's good to be recording. It's good to be here and, and just making shit. It's always, always a pleasure, guys. But, yeah. Uh, Call of Duty, I love you. Um, I will never get a sponsorship or any deal from Call of Duty. There's no chance of that after the things I have said. And that's okay. That's it's fine. It's fine. I honestly could do without it. But yeah, guys. June 1st. Uh, Swag Hat. It's like half the length of a normal film. Check it out, guys. I have a video back in my dorm where I was reacting to old videos. But yeah, we'll see. I might get that out before the film on June 1st. We'll see. Just depends on how busy I am. Uh, I'm getting a job as well, so. But I'll, uh, I'll still be recording, doing shit. And I, I won't say anything just yet, but we got plans this summer. We got plans. Alright, guys. Leave a like. Do it. You did. I, I, I saw you. You left the light. That wasn't funny at all. In ice and rhythm in my hole. And every vision of my soul. Just to think we don't carry on that much for lots of sin. <laughs> you can full on watch movies and fucking modded zombies. That's funny as fuck.